the laws, the laws of God are called the law of Moses. They are not called the law of God. They are called the law of Moses. That's how much powerful that guy is. That God could take his laws and say, these are your laws. And he was the meekest man. That means that man can do anything. He would walk under tremendous power. So when you, when you are a meek person, you are able to walk away when things are, when you are provoked, you are able to walk away. You are provoked, you are walking away. And that's a technology of warfare because Satan wants you to lose. Remember, when you are going to warfare, number one, the Bible says you are fighting a good fight of faith. That means when you start fighting, you, you are guaranteed of the results. You see the difference? The difference is that you are guaranteed to the result. And Satan knows that the minute you start with your affair, you are guaranteed with the result, then he will want to provoke you not to receive the results. The Bible is our constitution. It's our guiding force. Let God use it. Allow God to speak to you through the word of God. Hallelujah. Last week we were talking about spiritual warfare. Can you remember the seven things that we spoke about? Yes. Things to guard against when, doing, when you're doing spiritual warfare. Temper. Two. Guard your tongue. Three. Deal with your flesh. Four fight offenses five bitterness six unforgiveness seven deal with despair and discouragement now this morning when we are partaking on the holy communion i give you i gave you another tool of dealing with discouragement using the holy communion that's another tool that you can use uh go number seven so every time you are discouraged Use communion. I gave you a tool this morning to deal with communion. I mean, to deal with the uh, discouragement and despair, which is distress or stress, whatever you call it, via communion. Communion is a master weapon that God has given us. Hallelujah. It's a master key in a master communion. I mean, a master a weapon that God has given us to deal with to deal with the uh, discouragement, dealing with the aspect of prayer, because this was a preparation of your heart so that when you stand before God, your heart is in the right place. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes we lose battles because our hearts are not in the right place. Are you hearing what I'm saying, church? Now, I want us to start, as we're talking, I want us to, Look in the book of First John 1.1. 1, 1. Now, this is a very, very uh, important verse. A very important verse that for you as a believer. Listen to this guy. When I was thinking about it, and I look at ourselves, and I look at the body of Christ this day, and I said, this verse is actually a, not a problem. It's actually something which we need to ponder on in this generation. Can you read this verse, all of us? Okay, Lale. That which was from the beginning, which we have done what? Number one, we have heard. Okay, number two, we have seen with our eyes. Number three, we have gazed upon, looked upon. That means we have behold it. Number four, and our hands have handled it. What has he handled, this guy? Concerning the word of life. The word of life is Jesus Christ. Now, he's talking from experience. The first thing they heard about Jesus Christ. Remember, before they even met the Apostle John, before they even met Jesus Christ, they heard that the Messiah is coming. It was preached all over, all over, all over that Jesus is coming, the Messiah is coming. Now, he moved from hearing about the Messiah and 
He has seen the Messiah. After seeing him, he behold. In other words, he went into deep revelation. After beholding the Messiah, he said, we have touched this guy. We are talking about the tangible things. Now, as I was pondering about this verse, and I thought to myself, but as a church, I think we are in number one of this verse. We have only heard about this, about God. We don't know the God we are preaching about. Judging by everything that is happening around us, it clearly said to me, we, we, we've just heard about this God. We look into the challenges that we are facing, which God has given us remedies in the world, and it's like we're not applying what he taught us. That means we've only heard. For example, we grew up knowing that the Lord is our shepherd. But in truth, is he our shepherd? I was asking myself that question. Is he your shepherd? See, we've heard that the Lord is our shepherd. In reality, have we seen him as a shepherd in your life or in our lives? Have we seen the Lord leading us in green pastures? Now, one thing that makes Christianity is a religion. No good see Bongalis Kulmanga as experience. And a Gualegi Lebasaran Bam Guti. Then there is Kulmanga. Ibe tangible. Nyang Eva Basa. Have you ever thought about this verse? Have you ever thought about it? If you haven't read about it, maybe it's the first time you're hearing about this verse. It's time that you think. Gideon, if you read about Gideon in the Bible, Bashasel is the Midianites. And then he made an interesting statement. He says, where is the God of our fathers? The godless Vengabo, they divided the Red Sea. And we walk. Where is the God when Paramitian Batlasela Sipuya saw? You know, these are the things that you need to ask yourself as a believer. When you look into your life, when you look into your life and you see that your life is not a according to the word of God or the results rather that you see in your life are not in, in connection or our and this is a things like get your nabuga sega pili les kaste sisa ahamba ahambile abuga gashushewa batasele then he asked himself where is the God of our fathers? If truly, where is he now? And that question resulted in God coming through for him. Delivering Israel in the book of Judges. Go read the book of Judges 6 and 7 you will discover that Gideon asking that question, God had to come through for him. Now that's a question that you also need to ask yourself when you don't see results. Now I've been asking myself, say, where are the prophecies that God spoke to us concerning us? You know, God, from, from, from early stages as we were speaking, this, this and this, I said, God, where are these prophecies? I'm almost 50 now. Can 
can we die without seeing the move of the Holy Spirit in our lives? You know, I can tell you like I know my name. If our generation cannot see the Antichrist, the generation of Ocaris, they will see him. That's a reality. And things are being shaping. You know, things are shaping. They are coming into, into its place. The things that you are seeing on the news right now, they are telling us that they are corn. Pastor I am a student of the word. And I am the student of Bible prophecy. I'm, I'm not a student of the, of the prophecy at all. Your name is so and so. No, that, that's too weak. Your name is so and so. Your, no, no, I'm a student of Bible prophecy. Ezekiel 37, I mean, Ezekiel 38 and 39, we will see it. Now, now, Uma Sipila, Sipila and Azul say, ah, this thing is a say nuts. You know, I remember, you know, COVID taught me something. I remember early February, January, February, end of February, when they told us that this country, Ngendega Ivale, we laughed. Nobody thought that you'd be locked down in your houses for 21 days. Nobody thought when Russia attacked Ukraine, those people did not believe that Russia was going to attack them. They did not believe. They did not believe that. that they, nobody believed that Putin was going to do what he said he was going to do. Nobody believed it. They said, ah, he's bluffing. Ah, he's bluffing. I'm here to prepare you so that to be prepared. Detachment is the master key. You see, if you would detach a nyalo from the wealth of this world, from the money of this world, to detach your heart from this thing now, by the time these things come, you'll have a problem. I'm telling you, it's in the things of the Lord. Access cards so good in you will not have some tenders for granted. That's why I'm in spiritual warfare, not because ah, I, I like it. Let me tell you, your confessions will not help you. We are dealing with the principalities and the powers. Do you know when you deal with principalities and powers, I have learned something. And I'm telling you from experience what will save you is more than your confessions, what will save you is your character. You are not going to be able to stand. What made Daniel to stand? A, 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 a papillon. A papillon. Amen. It was his character. All the other Israelites could not stand. Except four men. Daniel. Shadrach. Meshach. And Abednego. Their character was that's what made them to stand against the principles and the powers. Your confessions will not work. I'll give an example of what I'm talking about. Zechariah 3. Put Zechariah 3 there. I'll give an example of what I'm talking about. Never think that these things are too far from you. Ne? Let me tell you something. Yamona Goliath. Goliath. Begute mundu beanga mnoba. Except a a young boy called David who knew the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? The church, if they know God, 
There's no Goliath that can stand against the church. They will know. They'll be better prepared. They will know. Now, it pains me when I look at Ukraine in that European block, I said Russia. Now, let me tell you something that you do not know. In that European block, I said Russia, it is the only country that allow Christianity. And they couldn't ban But, but Bob Balbanja al corner, La Bazaloa and Gusha would see the Banco prepared. That they were displaced today. What kind of a church that is displaced without God telling them that this thing is coming? Something is wrong. In that European bloc, as a USSR, as a Russia, that's the only European country that has got churches. I'm not talking about churches, I'm talking about real churches, pastors who are casting out demons. Even black pastors, Nigerian pastors are there. I mean, the church, I, I, the church is speak, is speak in Ukraine. But they were caught off guard. They were not prepared. If God could have told them, if they were prepared, they would have gone out of that country beforehand. They were not prepared. May we not be caught off guard. Hence, I'm teaching you this thing. Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at the right hand to oppose him. You will say, in the name of Jesus, I cast you. Agbo <laughs> Satan. Who you? You cast me. You, 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 you. You don't even believe in the name of Jesus. You. You, you, you don't believe. You casting me. Do you know Jesus? You. Have you touched him? Have you handled him? Or you just heard about this Jesus? Angsu, because I'm mad, Lucius. What made Satan to oppose this guy? Continue. And the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuked. Now, some sins is unkulunkul. By me, this was mercy. Look at the mess. First of all, the reason why I'm opposed. Eh? The Lord rebuked Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is it not this brand black from the fire? The Ingelosla, the Kurumajan. Now Joshua, uh -huh. Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and was standing before the angel. Unangelos, let me look at protect the Angelosle. Ayendi luto. Satanak opposa in front of the angels. How many people die in accidents? Think you lost about Tibugi, Latin, by Alpha. That's the reason. Back to waiting, Timbata letting go lil. Back to any Timbata letting go lil. Yeni Timbata letting go lil. Verse 4. Kubel. Look at the angel. It's in. It's in. in, in then he answered and spoke to those who, sp who stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. See, I have removed your iniquity from you, and I have clothed with clean, another verse says, with clean robes, rich robes. Your iniquity, the church is full of iniquity. If the church today is sat debate, where they go right, that's why no go wrong. That should tell you who's the son of the weak and laying in there. Uma salama debates a wine, a solwen. Snema debates a ma homosexuality, a solwen. Snema debates whether Funas tight and a mass not tight. Those are weak things. We are children. When there is strife in the church, it's by pen. Are you not children? Must not strife. Akvano. In the house of the Lord, filthy garment. Oh, see, nine. I have removed your iniquity. That's it. Keep on it, my So, when you you when you are not strong in character, I don't care who, who says what. There's no grace that can save you. You will not be able to stand against powers and principalities. How many churches are we having in South Africa? But look at the corruption that is in South Africa. Something is wrong. Something is wrong, 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 
confess in the name of Jesus I rebuke you you'll rebuke and rebuke and rebuke the day you change your character the, the day you take this word of God and make it real in your life and make it real, 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 real in your life, you will stand and go in and out in the presence of the Lord. What made the church to be strong in the early church? They never debated whether we should give or not. No. That's why in that church, the way the power of God was present, because there's no presence in the Lord. I mean, there's no presence of the Lord in the church. It's the truth, Pastor Bam. The church is weak, not because the God is weak, but because there is no fear of God in the house of the Lord. There's no fear of the Lord. People will figure late and so They don't care. It, it, do, 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 do you know how dangerous it is to come late in church? You don't know. I got the revelation years ago. I, this, I made up my mind. I will never come late in church. I got the revelation that almost less than the revelation thing. Almost less biggest cuts. Which is, see, 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 and you think you're going to be powerful and, and stand against power. The delay coming. The late coming. They say, Pastor, this is condemnation. We are under grace. This is purple. Now that you are under grace, <laughs> you must stop sinning. Jesus said, Your righteousness should exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. But it should be tight. No. Love about tight. When I full of excellent more, more about under grace. Moreover, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is that power that will cause you to stop sinning. That means you don't even know that grace. I'm telling you the word of God as it is. As it is. As it is. As it is. Because we, we want God to move power. Let me tell you, do you know what does Satan respect? What does the world respect? Power. Do you think if the church had power, if you see the, the, the nation weak, the church is weak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we if we as a church sila e pabaton una kolayati sitshele ukuthi singile singila ko David it doesn't matter we can make a difference if as a church we can come up with that holy anger church of Jesus Christ that which we have heard that which you have seen that which you have behold that which you have touched the word of life have you touched it? Have you seen it? Have you behold it? Hey, hey, let me tell you, Basan Bam. We are in a warfare. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities. I told you, those things you will not fight them. No more confessions. It needs men of prayer. Men will stand in prayer. That's why he says, pray with all manner of prayer. Let's just go to Ephesians 6. Can you put verse 18 and let's, 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 let's read. Praying what? Always. How? 
with all manner of prayer. With all what? Prayer and what? Supplication in the spirit. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Pray. Pray. Luke 18 verse 1 says, Man ought always, not, not sometimes, when? Always. Matthew 18 verse 1, put it there. Man ought always, not sometimes, when? Always. Always pray, not to faint, not to lose heart. But on bam, I cannot overemphasize the issue of prayer. I was, I was, when we were calling prayer the, 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 the three days of prayer and fasting, I was shocked at the number of people who did not come. And I was asking myself, do these people understand the time where we are? 